Fortnite absolutely blew it out of the park with Chapter 2. With it comes an entirely new map, a ton of new game mechanics like picking up downed players and throwing them. Yeah, throwing them. This action is literally called yeet. I absolutely love this feature. I completely agree with my friend who says it's a feature that we never asked for but we didn't know we needed. The new season also comes with a new and improved leveling system, a new HUD, boats, a fresh and simple loot pool, which by the way makes it feel like we're playing season one all over again, and lastly, bots. This season brings a new twist to the battle pass also that hints towards the storyline, which I will talk about at the end of the video, so make sure you stick around for that. Rather than two or three skins having a few selectable styles, every skin has a good version and an evil version known as their alter ego in this game. The new chapter of Fortnite also brings in eight new default skins, which unfortunately, but fortunately, <laughs> replaced the original default skins. So in today's video, we are going to be ranking all the new skins that came out with the launch of chapter two. I will not be adding leak skins to the list in case you do not want them to be spoiled. Starting off the list, we have Cameo. Cameo is, for the lack of better words, outgoing in her appearance. I'm really not a fan of mixing like six colors and patterns and mashing it all into a skin. I don't really think the colors match at all and I just don't really like the hair at all. But Cameo is just going through a phase, as you'll see later in the video. Coming in at the 21st spot on the list is Turk. Turk is just your everyday fisherman that <laughs> looks like he's going to kill you. <laughs> like, is it just me or does he look like a guy from a movie that would be in like a creepy white van in the back alley that says free V-Bucks? I'm just saying. No, but in all seriousness, I just really don't like the outfit choice. Plus the red just seems a little off to me. It's not like the typical red and black skin. Next up on the list, we have Mansu, or maybe it's pronounced Monsu but I'm just gonna say Mansu in this video. Mansu is the default skin and the only reason I put him this low is because of the player model. I just prefer all of the other ones, but Epic Games did a fantastic job with the new default skins. Like, they're, they're so much better than the original ones. Their outfits seem cleaner and somewhat more modern. The colors also match each other really well and honestly, they're better than like 40% of the skins that you'd actually have to spend money on. And just so you know, there are some default skins that are very high on the list. The 19th spot is going to Riptide. This is Turk's alter ego and it's it's really just like meh. The colors are kind of bland and they don't really match each other at all. The only thing I like about the skin is that his, his face looks cool, which sound, <laughs> that sounds really weird, but I like the eye patch and, and the white hair. And for some reason, the picture of the skin gives me flashbacks of the cliffhanger mission in Modern Warfare 2. If you ever played that mission, let me know down in the comments below. The next skin on the list is Jonesy. Good old Jonesy, the meme of the Fortnite community. To be honest, not the biggest fan of Jonesy. The blonde is just very, Yellow. I don't know, maybe I just don't like this skin because it literally represents a noob, and I'm not bad at Fortnite. <laughs> I really like the jackets that the male defaults have. They look epic. The 17th spot is going to Chick, or Cheek. I'm assuming it's Chick, but it could be Cheek. Remember Cameo? Yeah, she's over her colorful stage. Now she's moved on to her, her Peppa Pig stage. I don't know how I feel about this skin. Like, it's pretty simple and the colors aren't too over the top. I just feel like there's something, there's something off. I guess I would just prefer to use some of the other skins. I'd have to use the skin in game to determine if I actually like it. Coming in at the 16th spot is Carlos. Carlos looks really sick. By the way, all of the names from these skins are coming from progameguides.com, so if any of them are wrong, I do apologize in advance. I don't have much more to say about the skin because he has the same outfit as all of the other male defaults, but just a different player model. Next up, we have Hector. I think Hector is the best male default in Chapter 2 of Fortnite. Although I, I, I might be biased because he's He's a very important character in Helix. Shameless plug, for those of you who don't know, Helix is an interactive film that my friend and I have been working on for a very, very long time. And you'll be able to make decisions throughout the movie that'll impact the storyline. Doesn't that sound cool? We're very excited to have the opportunity to create something like this, and I hope you stick around for that. The 14th spot on the list is going to Ripley. My man's made out of slurp juice. Look at him. Just take a solid, a solid look at him. He's so innocent. How does his body stay intact? I'm so confused. Is the little cute ball in his head basically his brain? Anyway, Ripley was created in the Slurpy Swamp location according to this loading screen. He was formed from the slurp juice that was drained out into the swamp. I like the colors of the skin, but I just think he's a little too bulky for me. Oh, and fun fact, if you stand in the rest of his family, I mean the slurp juice containers, you will gain shield. Breaking the kegs of slurp juice gives you shield as well. Next up on the list, we have Banshee. Okay, 
The female defaults are amazing. Their outfit is just so sick and it looks incredible. I love the white shirt with the, the, the crop top thing or whatever that is. If there's any females watching this, what is that called so I know in the future? <laughs> However, I do believe Banshee is the worst of the female player models just because I don't really like her hair. The 12th spot on my list is going to Sludge. Sludge is the alter ego of Ripley and boy does he look scary. Nah, I'm just kidding. He's too cute to even look scary. It's like that scene from, from Lion King where Simba roars and tries to scare the hyenas and he's just like, Rar. What if this is a new shield type coming to the game? That may be a little bit of a reach, but you never know. Maybe it could have completely new mechanics that would change how Fortnite shield works. Epic, if for some odd reason you're watching this, you should consider this idea if it's not already planned on becoming a thing. The next spot on my list is Ramirez. Simple, original, player model. We are now into the top 10 best skins from the Fortnite Chapter 2 launch. The 10th place spot is going to the white style of fusion. So this is actually the only skin in the battle pass that doesn't technically have an alter ego, which I, I, th I think it relates to the storyline. I really like the white clothing he's wearing, but I just absolutely despise the gold. Not for the color but for the texture. It reminds me of that scales wrap from season three. I don't know why, I just think it looks so bad. If it was straight solid gold with the white clothing, this skin was would be like six places higher on the list because it looks really nice. I will say that he absolutely looks fire in this picture though. Coming into the next spot on the list, we have Toxin. Toxin is the alter ego of Remedy and I love the outfit that she's wearing. I feel like the whole theme of this is really unique to Fortnite, but she's still a simple clean skin. The one problem I have with Toxin is the hair. I don't really think green hair looks good on any skin, but I guess without it, she would look really boring. The eighth spot on my list is going to the black style of Fusion. Fusion is one of the few male skins that have a slim body type, and I think it looks much better than normal size skins. His black outfit looks really nice, and the blue accents add a lot to it. The black style would have been below the white style if it wasn't for that stupid chocolate bar looking gold stuff. The description for the skin is merged into one, and remember this is the only skin in the battle pass that does not have an alter ego, so I'm wondering if his normal self and his alter ego were merged into one, and now it's like this guy that's bipolar or something. It's kind of like that Split movie if you've ever seen that, or uh, Killer Frost from Flash. Next up on the list, I'm going to go with Journey. This is the tier one skin, and she looks really good for having a bright pink outfit. Like, it, it's hard to pull off a skin with bright pink boots a bright pink top and neon pink hair, but I think they did a fantastic job with it. This honestly might be one of my favorite tier one skins. The sixth spot on the list is going to Emmy. Emmy is the blonde soccer skin player model. Same outfit as the other female defaults, but I just think her player model looks really good. The next spot is going to eight ball. <laughs> I have no idea why Epic decided to make an eight ball skin, but like, it looks amazing. He's supposed to be an assassin, right? I don't understand why, of, of all things, an assassin would choose an 8-ball as his logo. I like that the skin is just black and white and that's it. And, not trying to flex or anything, but like... I got, I got 236 wins in 8-ball, just putting that out there. The fourth spot is going to Rio. Rio was 100% the best female player model in Chapter 1, but now there's a new one, which hasn't come up on the list yet. But still, Rio is the sweaty soccer skin player model, and she's amazing. I just wish that you could choose your default skins because I would actually use her a lot. The colors and the simplicity just work so well, and Epic, you did an incredible job with the new defaults. You finally made it to the best three skins in all of the season 11 battle pass. If you are still watching, comment a food emoji of your choice and I will know who my best viewers are. The third place spot is going to Scratch. This is the alter ego for 8-Ball and I think it actually looks like an assassin with, with a soccer ball on his back. Like obviously it's supposed to be a cue ball but it looks like a soccer ball sponsored by Uber. I feel like this is the fully white outfit that I've wanted for so long. It seems like the all white outfits are pretty rare in Fortnite so I'm glad that they're adding this one to the collection. Plus, Scratch is one of the few fully white outfits that actually looks cool and his dual axes are freaking amazing coming in at the second place spot on my list we have hazard she looks so fire this is journey's alter ego she's super simple like like really really plain to the point where she should be an uncommon skin instead of a rare skin but she looks so good her outfit just looks incredible the gloves the boots and her top just fit her player model so well the accents of green are also a nice little touch touch Punch. That's right. That's right. English. The accents of the green are also a nice little touch, so she's not just in a purely black outfit. The best skin of the entire Chapter 2 Season 1 Battle Pass is 100% 
going to Remedy. This is the best player model without a doubt. She's so good looking and her outfit is sick. The colors are great and it's it's a simple outfit while still being somewhat unique. If you've watched my other videos, you know that my favorite skins are simple and this battle pass had so many of those. This battle pass is actually growing on me a little bit. Also, she is a medic, which is cool. Honorable mention for the black hole guy that was in the shop when season 11 started. As I said earlier, I was going to briefly mention the season 11 storyline that the community has been discussing. A little disclaimer, this is a quick theory, so I will assume that you know the storyline of the 7 and the 0 point from last season. On the new season 11 map, or season 1 of chapter 2 map, there are these two factions. One is called Alter, and the other is called Ego. Obviously, the good characters are in one faction, and their alter egos are on the other faction. I believe that the Alter faction is made up of the antagonists and Ego is made up of the protagonists in the story. You can see the symbols of their respective factions on each skin. The Altar logo is a gas mask and the Ego logo looks almost like it's the rocket crashing into the zero point from the live event. Before the battle pass trailer, there were loading screen quotes that appeared at the bottom of the black hole screen. One of the quotes says, we expect heavy resistance and similarly embedded operatives. This quote shows that the seven may have sent Ego to this new map and are going to be in conflict with similarly embedded operatives which are their alter egos. As of now, we do not have enough information to continue this theory, but this season is clearly going to be about two factions and their fight with each other. That's going to wrap it up for today's video, but don't, don't leave yet. Don't, I, I see you. I believe that the trailer for my Fortnite short film Kuno will be releasing relatively soon, so stay tuned for that. We've been working very hard for the past six months or so to complete this project. Anyway guys, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like down below and comment what your favorite skin this season is. That's all I have for you today, so I will see you all in the next video. Peace! <laughs>